Hi guys, Creative Lori. Um, as you, if you're new to my channel, I am a home stager, and um, I now shop at Goodwill and thrift stores to get like my smaller decor items. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, it's just a Goodwill haul, and um, almost everything but two things are for my business. Okay, so let's get started. I went to Goodwill a few days ago. And I didn't anticipate finding anything actually because it was later in the evening, but I did. Um, I ducked in real quick and found all of this. So first thing is I'm going to show you the two Christmas stuff that is not for my business, but um, it's this little Target um, dollar spot bin or basket, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's so cute. I remember seeing this. I don't know if it was last year or two years ago. But um, it says delivered by Reindeer Express. Do not open until 25th December. And it's got its burlap, which you know I love. Black handles, rope handles. And it's got the plaid, which I also love. <laughs> but I can always turn it around um, and use it for like maybe magazines or something in my house if I decide to. And maybe the plaid won't show as much. But I think I'll use it until spring and then I'll put it away. But it was only $2.19. And I remember seeing it and thinking, gosh, I really want to get that. And I never went back to get it. Or when I did, they were gone. So I'm glad I got that. The other thing that I got was this also from Target Dollar um, Spot was this little faux wood um, card display. And um, it's got the little string on it, so you can put your cards in it. And it was $1.19, originally three. And I don't think it was ever used because this little card stock is still taped on here. Oops. <laughs> and I'm probably going to do something different with it. I'm probably going to take the string off and make it into like a little trivet or tray in my kitchen area because um, I think it's so cute. So, um, not to put food directly on it, but, you know, to put stuff on it. Okay, then the next thing I got what are all, the rest of the things are for my staging business. Now, oh, except for one thing. This um, spatula, it's by Threshold. I don't know if you could see that on the handle. Um, it's a really cool plaid design on here and I only have the spatulas that are all plastic and when you're baking there's no pliability you know like there's this is really pliable so this works better and I was baking before Christmas with a friend and she came over and I told my dad ahead of time I said next time you're in town can you please bring some of my um, bake bakeware and he does not live close, but when he comes into town, like I ask him to bring me back certain things because when I go up there, I bring him a bunch of baked stuff or, you know, I cook stuff for him. And then I, I leave my things there and then he'll bring them back. But so I was kind of embarrassed because <laughs> um, I, I had to use my dad's and, um, you know, my friend had like all this high tech bakeware and I just had, you know, just regular stuff. But, you know, we still had fun. She brought her two boys. They were here for like five or six hours. We got a bunch of baking done. So it was so fun. But we're going to do it every year. But I'm going to throughout the year get some better bakeware stuff. Um, you know, like better tins to... Every year I replace them, or I shouldn't say every year. Every few years I replace my baking tins, like my muffin tins and so on. And I remember a few years ago my dad got me and my sister some muffin tins that were brand new. And so I got rid of my old ones. And so I just, you know, I keep rotating them because they do get crummy at a certain point. And so I just recycle them. Anyways, this was 69 cents. It doesn't bother me that it was used. I will wash it and put it in my dishwasher. I just hope that the handle will hold up being wood. Okay, so now everything else is for my staging business. Now, often I use wooden spoons because they do look more rustic, you know, in staging. They just make the kitchen look better than black utensils. So this is by Calphalon. And it's a nice spatula that I got for 49 cents. And that's Meatball, again, in the background, howling. 
Meatball! And um, then I got this wide spoon for 49 cents. So I will lice all these and clean them as well. And then I got this cool little, um, I think it's like for, I can see it, like crushing herbs. And it looks really rustic, so I loved it. Um, $1.19, so that was a good deal. And um, I'm sorry, guys, if I keep sniffling, my allergies are bugging me. This rolling pin, I always use rolling pins. They're so great next to like a cookbook on an easel. Um, $1.19, which is a good price for a rolling pin anyway. <laughs> I think it still has some dough. It does. <laughs> right there oh my gosh so i will definitely i i wash everything i like to lysol things first and then wash them and then lysol it again usually okay so the next few items i got this basket which would be perfect in a family living room or bedroom or even a bathroom it's got i like the design of it it kind of dips down in the front and in the back it has these little handles and so it's an older basket, and that's what I love about it. It's got this rustic looking hoops for the handle hardware. It is just so cute. So I can do towels in it, throw um, throws, pillows, whatever. And it was $3.19. So whenever I see medium to bigger baskets like this, I would consider a medium. I get them. So $3.19, there's nothing wrong with it. Perfect. Then I got this mercury glass lamp. And let me get closer. Okay, it was 820. And I really love it. It's a good shape and it has a nice finial. The finials alone can cost up to $10 or $12. So oh, and I didn't notice this, but it has like a, an acrylic base and then the brass. So this is really pretty. And I have another mercury glass. Um lamp that's not like this one but they'll go well enough to do a bedroom so that'll be good and this would have cost me like maybe sixty dollars at pottery barn this could have cost me about 40 um the utensils i don't really remember because it's been a while since i shopped for utensils at pottery barn but the next couple things i got um was this antique looking um, metal clock and it's got the Roman numerals and it's got the little antiquing background and it says antique de Paris I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly my French is horrible by the way if you haven't noticed um, <laughs> but it's got a cute little handle at the top and it is metal it's really heavy and I like the little arms in it. It was only $6.19, and the back is even nice. It's like a faux wood. So I have one similar, but it's round, and it's much smaller. And so I really like this one. Um, I'll show you where I put it, because I'm selling a piece, um, getting rid of some of my furniture, and I like to stage it. And so I'll probably put it, this with that, the other um, little clock. And I'll show you that at the end of the video. I got this pillow. It's a nice cable knit for $4.19. And it has a zipper at the top. And then it's got the insert so I can like wash it, you know. And I went there actually looking for these two pillows I saw the couple weeks before. I knew it was a long shot because if something's been there like two weeks ago, it's most likely not going to be there anymore, right? <laughs> But I thought I'd take my chance. And there were two matching cream-colored sweater-like material um, pillows. And they were much smaller than that one. But I'm kind of glad that I didn't get them because, oops, in staging cream and white, they get dirty, like, immediately. Um, because your hands have, like, you know... Um, from packing material or you know newspaper they have ink on them um or when you're dusting things off you know you might use your hands sometimes and you're moving you just get things dirty so it wasn't meant to be but for 419 it's um by nina campbell and it says nina home so i think that was 
I don't know if that's from Home Goods or from Target. I don't recognize the name from Target, but anyways, the last little thing I got was this little basket. And it, it's a wood, woven wood basket, square, with handles. It was only 69 cents, and it looks brand new. Yeah, see, 69 cents. Um, this is perfect for, like, downstairs bedroom, or bathrooms, excuse me. Um, there's not a lot of space in the downstairs bathrooms when I stage. Usually there's very limited counter space. So something like this, this size, is perfect because I can put washcloths in it, um, maybe with some pretty soaps, um, or hand towels, you know, rolled up, um, even like an orchid in it and then moss on top, just use it as a container. It's perfect. And for 69 cents, it's a steal. So let me show you how I'm going to use the clocks and, um, that little Christmas bin over there and, um, tell me what you guys think and see if you like them and um, tell me about your thrift store hauls too. I'd like to hear about them. Okay, one second. Okay, there it is. So I haven't taken down <laughs> my cocoa station yet, but um, oh, I did the top part. I just haven't done the bottom part. I took down everything else as far as Christmas goes, but this and one other little area. Oh, and my front door stuff. Okay, so I have a few things to put away. So I think that's perfect to put like you know, my gifts in, um, underneath here. It's a great idea. You could do, um, one of those live Christmas trees and put that in there. That'd be really cute. I'm so glad I got it because I really wanted it when I saw one a couple years ago. So thankfully, um, and there is egg roll and outside is garage kitty that I call baby. <laughs> okay. So let me show you the other thing. So here are the clocks. They're pretty similar. They're not exactly the same, but they both have the handles, you know. I really like the oval one. Um, and so I put it in my little topiary and my glass tray-like thing. It was a lid. And I'm selling this piece. I used it in a cottage, and now I'm done with it. And it has like granite. It's brand new. It has drawers. So that's what I paired it with, guys. Anyways, please tell me what you like best in my haul and um, what you got, of course. Like I said before, I'd love to hear it. I love to chat. I tend to leave comments back all the time and kind of long comments because <laughs> I like talking with y'all. And um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I do encourage you to go out to your local thrift stores and that way you're not paying retail prices to redecorate your areas. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.